simplify the following complex fraction. So I have x over 8 minus 8 over x, and then I have 1 over 8 plus 1 over x. So one possible way to simplify this is to multiply all four of my fractions by the least common denominator, which would be an 8 and an x. So go ahead and use that method. So I'll multiply the top by 8x, and it's really over 1. I like to go ahead and put the 1 there so that you can see the levels, because I've got four levels going on here. And then I'll go ahead and multiply this one by 8x over 1. And this is only fair if I do to the top, but I also do it to the bottom. That way I'm multiplying by some form of the number 1. So this is 8x over 1 as well. And then distributing it across my plus, that way everybody gets it, I get 8x over 1 here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel here where my first, here's, I'll go ahead and circle it, maybe that'll make it easier to see. So where this first set was, the 8 cancels, leaving me with an x and another x, so I have x squared left. This middle bar right here is not going to go away, okay, just the bottoms of all these fractions. So this is my minus, and then the x cancels, leaving me with a 64. And then where this fraction used to be, only the 8 cancels, leaving me with an x. Here's my plus. And then where this fraction used to be, this x cancels, leaving me with 8. So now I have a much simpler problem to deal with. So to simplify this, I need to factor the top. The top, or the numerator, factors to be conjugates because it's a difference of squares. So x squared must be x times x, and 64 must be 8 times 8. And then in my denominator, I have an x plus 8. Now this is really times 1 here, so I can cancel these x plus 8s. They become 1, leaving me with a final simplified version of just x minus 8.